Good afternoon, everyone, or morning, afternoon. We're uh, here ahead of a massive fight night on Saturday night in Frisco at the Ford Center. What a card, what a night of boxing. Of course, Mikey Garcia against Jesse Vargas, Cal Yafai against Chocolatito, Roman Gonzalez, Julio Cesar Martinez against Jay Harris for the WBC Flyweight Championship, Israel Madrimov, Joseph Parker. This is, I believe, the strongest fight card of the year, potentially the strongest fight card that we've ever put on in boxing, live on DAZN this Saturday from the Ford Center in Frisco. Of course, we had the press conference yesterday. We got the weigh-in tomorrow and today, a couple of very important press conferences. Firstly, the welcoming to the professional ranks of one of the top young fighters in the sport, Mark Castro, which will be followed um, coming up by, excuse me, gentlemen, excuse me, gentlemen, please. Thank you, Dino, thank you. Uh, which will be followed by Pro Gray against Hooker, a uh, fantastic fight announced earlier today, April 17th, at the MGM National Harbour. And it gives me great pleasure to, as I said, introduce Mark Castro to the team. Two-time world youth champion, um, 17, 16 time, 17 time national champion. Um, this is a guy that everybody wanted in the sport of boxing. This is a guy that when we came to America a couple of years ago, people said, the one you want is Mark Castro. And that's why I call him the one. And I said something very interesting to him yesterday. I said, we need to determine your nickname. And he said, I would like the public to determine my nickname. And I like that. 20 years of age, great head on his shoulder. What a fighter. What a talent. And this is just another member of this incredible young team of fighters that we have. The great Diego Pacheco. I see you. Just walked into the room. Don't worry, you haven't got to come and talk. 8-0, and oh, seven knockouts. He boxes at the weekend. Alexis Espino. On the card as well, Ammo Williams, Raymond Ford, Otha Jones, Rashat Matty, Nikita Rababi. The list is endless, and Mark knows all these guys. We have unquestionably the best young team of fighters, in my opinion, ever assembled in a promotional company globally. And for me, that's the passion that we have, taking these young fighters all the way to the top. When we sign fighters coming out of the London Olympics, out of the Rio Olympics, Look specifically at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. Anthony Joshua took him, of course, from the professional debut to the Unified Heavyweight World Championship. Also on the card this week, Cal Yafai took him from the professional debut to the WBA World Championship. Callum Smith took him from the professional debut to the WBA and Ring Magazine Championship. Luke Campbell took him from gold medal in the London Games onto challenging for the world title against Vasily Lomachenko and again shortly in April as well. And from the Rio games, look at the stars that are coming through now. Josh Kelly with a huge fight coming up. Joshua Boazzi, in my opinion, one of the best young talents in the sport. Joe Caldina, so many more. That's the passion that we have for developing young fighters. And when I spoke to Mark Castro, I told him, this path is so clear for you. We will give you opportunities to box every single month all around the world. His first fight will be announced shortly, potentially on this card behind us, and then we'll be taking him to the UK, perhaps for the Usyk Chisora fight, but probably for the big Anthony Joshua fight in front of 70,000 people in London. Then we'll look to take him to Saudi Arabia in July. This is about building a global star, and that's so important. There's, there's many more markets than the UK and the US. The US will be his base. He will have a massive US fan base, a massive Mexican fan base as well. But to become a global star, that building process starts now. It's not about building you once you become a world champion. It's about resonating with fans in different international markets around the world. And we have the broadcast partners and the ability to do that. And we look forward to making Mark Castro a global star. We're going to hear from Mark soon, but the man that always does the best job of extracting as much money out of me as possible uh, in my opinion, one of the best managers in the game today. Um, remember meeting Keith Connolly when we came over two and a half, three years ago. He was really the first guy that put his trust into us when we signed Daniel Jacobs at the time on a big HBO deal. And from there, we've worked together on a number of big fights from, of course, Daniel Jacobs winning the World Championship against Sergei Derevchenko, his other charge, to landing him that monstrous fight with Canelo Alvarez, other fights with Sergei Derevchenko with a fight of the year contender against Gennady Golovkin. And I know that Keith and Lou still rib me about that, thinking they should have got the decision that night. But no, this is a guy who 
always gets the best for his fighters. He's someone that's emotionally invested in his fighters as well and does a very good job for them. So Keith, firstly, welcome. Delighted to be working with you with Mark Castro, a wonderful young talent. Uh, thank you, Eddie. Uh, I'm really excited to be working with Eddie on Mark Castro. Mark Castro was the one guy in the amateurs that I really targeted over the last 12 months. Uh, pound for pound, he's the best amateur in the U.S. system. I think he's also going to have a huge Mexican fan base, huge Mexican-American fan base, which is uh, big in boxing. And I couldn't ask for a better partner than Eddie Hearn. I know he's going to put 150%. Uh, he's, in my opinion, the greatest promoter in the world right now. So, they're, you know, every promoter was after Mark, every manager was after Mark, and I'm just so excited that me and Eddie were the ones to land him. So, uh, I guess without further ado, we should pass the microphone to uh, the man of the hour, Mark Castro. Mark Castro, welcome. Your first press conference as a professional. You look a million dollars. We don't know what the nickname's going to be. Hollywood Mark, I don't know, whatever it's going to be, but... What a time for you, what a moment, about to start your transition to the professional game. Uh, thank you. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for being in this position. Without him, nothing is possible. And uh, my family have an unbelievable support system. And for Keith Conley and um, Eddie Hearn for getting this deal done and for us to, this is the start of a great career. Obviously, you've achieved so much as an amateur. Now, how much are you looking forward to that transition? You've seen some of your other teammates make that transition recently, but you feel like you have the style and, and this is the right time for you to turn pro. I feel like it was a great opportunity with you in the zone and match room to turn pro, and I feel like it was the best for my career. And uh, I accomplished what I accomplished in the amateurs, and I look to continue that success in the pros. I know you've got targets, you've got dreams. What are those dreams? Talking about starting in the featherweight division. We know a conversation we had yesterday where you talked about maybe going all the way up to 154 pounds in time. But what are the dreams of Mark Castro working alongside Keith Connolly, Matchroom, and of course, Design? Well, the main thing is to inspire people and um, win world titles and go up to, I think I can go up to 154 eventually, but the main thing is to inspire people, to show them that anything is possible in this world, and just show them that the possibilities are endless if you work hard and you sacrifice in life. You probably don't know this, and a lot of people that have been in the game a long time will tell you, there has never been a better time to turn professional. More broadcasters, more opportunities than ever before. You're going to be boxing on some of the biggest cards in America and also around the world as well, and obviously that's something that you're excited about too fight around the world. We know you've won world championships in Russia and you've boxed on the road a lot, but important to box in other territories as well. Yes, it's very important and it gets, it gets me excited because a lot of people can see my talent and eventually, like, once I get a world title, I, get a, I have a fan base all over the world. I think that, that fan base is going to come out and you're going to be a popular young fighter. What can they expect from Mark Castro style-wise? Like I said, we know that you can adapt and you've won tournaments around the world, but what are they going to see from Mark Castro as a pro? They're going to see a lot of t talent, footwork, speed, power, and just the ability, the ability to adjust to any opponent. And finally, met you, met your dad, met your wonderful family as well. Boxing's your life, isn't it? I mean, you know, we talk about the famous Canelo tagline, no boxing, no life, but for you and your dad, who's, I believe, trained you since the age of four, this is absolutely everything to you. Yes, this is everything for us. Um, everybody has sacrificed something in my family to, become in the, to be in this position, and it's all paying off, and I, gotta, I can't stop now. Well, we can't, well, we can't wait to welcome you to the professional game, boxing all around the world over the next few years, developing as a, a talent, developing as a brand, and making sure we map out the way for him to get to the very, very top, live and exclusively on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we should have a round of applause for the newly turned pro, Mark Castro. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Of course, that was mine, my mistake. Mark would also like to say a few words in Spanish. I was going to do it for him, but I'll let him do it anyway. Le quiero pedir gracias a Dios porque sin él nada es posible. Y luego pedir gracias a mi familia porque todos sacrificamos algo para estar aquí. Y luego gracias al señor Keith Conley y Eddie Hearn para este... Esta, esta oportunidad, ese es, va a ser una gran carrera. Gracias. Uh, I think that was, that was great words. Great words, Mark. Well done. <laughs>